is what our dope Airbnb looks like from the outside. I'm in the car filming this because it's freezing. Ryan's out there doing the hard work of taking photos, but that's our cool Airbnb. So this is our Airbnb Walk in the front door here. And uh, we have the nice little bathroom over here. Pretty cool, pretty standard little bathroom. And this is the, uh, this is the living area. So this is the bed. Um, we have a little seating area here where we got a lot of work done last night. A little kitchen area. We'll seat over here with these super awesome windows with an amazing view out there. Can't really see much right now, but um, it's awesome. Yesterday morning we woke up and there were sheep right outside, which is cool. But yeah, this is basically it. Uh, we spent two nights here and uh, tonight we're going to a new place. So we'll see you at the new place. And then there's like three more that look just like it. So we're gonna go, we, we just ran back inside to pack because we were ready to leave and go to the plane crash because we didn't get to do it yesterday. But we don't think we'll be back in time for checkout so we just went and packed all of our stuff and threw it in the car. So hopefully that doesn't get stolen. And yeah, then we're gonna leave. So I'm kind of sad to say goodbye to this place. But I, you know, whatever, it's what you gotta do. We finally made it and now it's time to walk forever. 7.55, 8 o'clock, so let's see how long it takes us to get all the way out there. Okay, so we finally made it. it took us about an hour, 45 minutes. We didn't stop or slow down really, so that's something to know if you're coming to Iceland. How is it? <laughs> you look like a Weasley. I'm gonna take that as a compliment because you love Harry Potter. Okay. Uh, yeah. So everything alright? There was a fuzz. Oh. We uh, had been driving for what feels like the entire day. We finally decided, uh, since it's super gloomy out, that we're just gonna go to our next Airbnb and uh, kind of just hang out. Ryan got another hot dog on top of the other hot dog he already got today. So that's something. So judgmental. And then we got new uh, ramen and pasta for dinner. I'll show you that later when we make it, maybe. If I feel like doing <clears> it, probably <throat> don't. Yeah, so the plan is we're gonna go in uh, if these people ever let us check in, and then um, we're gonna, you know, put our stuff down, and then probably just go walk around, explore the area. We'll show you the Airbnb, because we kind of did a horrible job with the last one, but the last one was so nice. And the guy was really nice, so if you're ever coming to Iceland, we highly recommend. We'll leave all of our Airbnbs down below, and then you can check them out if you really want to. I also got this sweet hat for my grandpa. I was really excited to show you guys. Um, it says Iceland. My grandpa loves hats, and whenever I go somewhere, I get him a new one. Oh, let's try the paprika chips. Oh, yeah. We got these that say mild paprika. Pure pleasure. I don't know. <coughs> so apparently everything in Iceland is flavored uh, paprika. Here. Kind of ketchup -y, but like not. Oh shit, somebody's coming. What do we do? Is there any way um, you can link up our coordinates in case we go missing? Mm hmm. We're in the middle of absolute nowhere. Like, someone could just come out and shoot us. Um, we wouldn't. No. We're gonna go and then we'll show you the Airbnb when we maybe get in. So. <laughs> hey guys. So, we made it to our second Airbnb. We finally got in. Um, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So, this is basically what it looks like. It's just a little cabin this is ours cute how stinking cute that's the bed and that's the bathroom very fun very modern very cool <laughs> oh wow look at that bird all right, so now we're gonna go and check out the geyser. So I gotta feel this. I'm kind of sad that this is probably real, but also it feels amazing. It's like Ikea. Actually, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, sure it's Ikea. Like I think this, place. this entire place feels, screams, smells Ikea. Oh, there's oatmeal <gasps> and granola bars. Nice. Wow, they actually kind of did step up. I love free things. Oreo cookies. I love free things. Oh, man. Let's see what's down here. Oh, we got a fridge. We got a nice... Nespresso machine, kettle. It's a really cute kitchen.
Troy can't hear me, but getting gas in Iceland is like really confusing and stressful. We'll explain later, but let's just keep this as a note. Oh. They got quite a rush. Hey guys, grab some tea and we're just gonna fill you in on where we are, what we've done so far, and yeah. God, it's so warm. Okay, so basically we are staying in our second Airbnb that is located in... It's between Helena and Reykjavik. So, so far we went to the plane crash, the two waterfalls. Gogafoss and Selagenogafoss. Good. We did the geyser today. We did Black Sand Beach. Yeah, those are like the like the, the main highlights. sites, yeah. So we still have a couple more things to do. Oh, the gas thing, really quick. I put in a little clip earlier of being like, the gas is so confusing. It's not confusing to like pump gas, like it's everywhere else that you pump gas, but at least in the US, when you go get gas, you just like put your card in and then pump as much as you want. And then when you stop pumping, that's how much it charges you. But here you have to like put it into like this separate ATM looking thing. And then you have to push like what value you want. And then you have to fill up with that value. So like maybe we're doing it wrong and maybe you can put a higher one and just stop it whenever and it will not charge you. But I feel like it charges you first. Mm -hmm. And then you go to your pump and you get whatever you paid for. It's very confusing because it's all in a different um, measurement system. Well, it's different metrics and the currency is different too, so. Right, so it's like, it's not even like, oh, okay, I'll just put $10 in. It's like a thousand kronen, or what's it called? Mm -hmm. Kron. Right, yeah. Something like that. Uh, this is really confusing. We should have paid more attention. Like, this isn't me complaining that like, I hate Iceland because they make it difficult. Like, that's just the way they do it. We didn't research it, but I didn't know that it would be that confusing. Like. I don't know, it seems, every time we go to pump gas, it seems difficult for no reason. But anyway, we're gonna hang out, we're gonna edit some photos, um, go through some stuff, probably watch some friends. Mm -hmm. Cause that's what we've been doing every single night. Yeah, all the Airbnbs here have Netflix, which is awesome. And then tomorrow we're gonna get up and then we're gonna head to our next Airbnb. Since we did the geyser today, which was good. It's supposed to snow tomorrow morning, which is a little bit crazy, but um, that's okay. We're gonna go to bed and uh, we'll check back in with you guys in the morning. Night!